Hello there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again for Simple Wine Review. And on today's episode, we're going to be reviewing... Can you guess what the wines are today? Hmm. Let's give you a hint. Black box wines. I mean, there's, there's a plethora of box wines out there on the market, you know, with all the classic varietals and different varietals and blends, whites, reds, sweets, dries, you know, but how do you decide which is the best one? Simply taste. And that's where the Wisconsin wine guy, comes in, wine guy comes in. I give you a simple review. Thumbs up, meaning I highly recommend it. Thumbs three quarters, thumbs halfway, saying, you know what? It's just okay. Give it a try. You decide. Thumbs down. Get that wine out of here. So let's give this a try. Now, what's cool? What's so cool about the box wines is, you know, for good value, especially if it's a good wine, you know, you're getting like three to six bottles of wine in a box, depending on the size of the box. Black Box gives you about four bottles. Let's see here. Four bottles of wine in the box. They say it stays fresh for six weeks after opening. And if the wine lasts you six weeks, it would be fantastic. Comes with a nice little nip. I like these these cool little spouts that they have now. You know, dripless or leakless spouts now. You know, I mean, which is fantastic. The old days of the Fred Franzia boxes. And I think they've upgraded their spouts too. You know, they used to leak all over the refrigerator. So I'm going to be sampling the Chardonnay. And the Chardonnay comes from California. And the... Cabernet and the Cabernet they source their grapes from Chile. So Black Box sources their fruit from all over, you know, to try to bring you some delicious, unique, and tasty wines. That sounded like a promo, didn't it? <laughs> so here we go. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna do the Chardonnay first. I just love this spout. Now, Chardonnay, they when I looked at my nose, they said the Chardonnay, you know, uh, is a balanced, you know, ripe fruit, citrus, and hints of oak. Let's see what we got here. So the Chardonnay, oh, let's keep it in the view. Chardonnay is what I'm doing first. Now that nose is very fruity, kind of more like apple, you know, citrus. You get a little, little spiciness on there, all right? You couldn't get, you know, the notes of what kind of oak that they're using on this, on the uh, Chardonnay, but it's oak okay. age. My guess is it's probably staves or chips. We'll find out. Here we go, the taste. So there's the Ritz, and now for the taste. Okay, here's what we got here for the Chardonnay. To me, it drinks like a Pinot Grigio, you know, just a, a ripe, fruity, fruit-forward type of Pinot Grigio. I mean, there's, a, there's just enough residual sugar that I think it would appeal to those who like sweet wines or semi-sweet wines unless you like your wines really, really sweet. I think this would be, this would appeal to those, uh, those palates. But I think, I think it's a nice, simple, everyday drinker. You know, uh, something for fun. You know, you can't go wrong with it. You know, but I'll give it like a three quarters. Is that it? Three quarters? <laughs> three quarters thumbs up. You know, I recommend you try it, you know, and simply decide for yourself. It's like the vintage is 2017. Again, a Chardonnay. Let's see if I get some hints of that oak that they're talking about here. I don't get it, you know, but um, I think it's a it's, it's 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 decent for just everyday drinker and just for fun. It definitely will make an awesome white sangria. Keep that in mind. Let's move on now to the Cabernet. Cabernet again, they source the grapes out of Chile. They say dark fruit aromas, yeah, a little bit of oak again. Now, for a Cabernet, you know, it's rather light. You know, you can't really get a good view of that color. You know, so you got a nice little purple color there, but it's uh, rather light, you know, on the color. More like a uh, garnet or ruby, you know, along the rim. But well, let's give it a smell. Okay, now, you definitely pick up the hints of that like, kind of wood taste to it. More like cedar. And there was oak, but you know, you definitely get that wood smell to it. Wood spice uh, nose to it. Berry fruit, dark berry fruit is there, you know, lace, but it's a lot of... With some red fruits, you know. So I mean, the nose is, is fantastic. Let's give it a taste. Here's the ribs. Okay. Now, if I had known before, I would have tasted the Cabernet before the Chardonnay, because again, it has a little sweetness to it. But that's why you do your ribs. Let's give it now for the taste. Okay. 
tannins, you know, like uh, medium type tannins, kind of bitter. You know, it, it's something about when you take wines, you know, that's like soft on fruit, you know, and you add oak to it, and I, I, I think, or wood to it, and they think they do too much to it. So it kind of makes it a little bit astringent on my palate, you know, kind of like grainy on my palate. You know, the fruit is still there, tannins are there, but a little bit kind of bitter tasting for me. So the Char uh, Cabernet, the Cabernet Sauvignon, I'm going to go thumbs down for me on the Cab. Uh, but again, this is my opinion. You decide. I, I think you could probably do better some of the other varietals. Uh, one day I'm sure we'll taste those and I'll tell you my opinion. So your Wisconsin wine guy gives the Chardonnay a three-quarter thumb. I think it makes awesome sangria. It would appeal also to those who like a little bit of sweetness in their wines. And then the Cabernet, uh, I think that... That, that bitter toothpick tasting, you know, uh, uh, astringency on my palate, I'm just not a fan of it. So the Cabernet, thumbs down. It's your Wisconsin wine guy saying, as always, when it comes to selecting your wine, let your palate be the guy. Bye. Box wine.